Okay, fine. Let's recap. And this is Mamash a game changer. If we allow this to express itself in our everyday living, we, we, we're going to become different people in a short amount of time, better people, more wholesome people. And that is the 80-20 rule. What's the 80-20 rule? 80% action, 20% chashbainas, 20% thinking. Now, what happens is, if we look at life, the way we live our life is that we exist in a physical world. And we have a world of thinking, but not much goes on in action in the world of thinking. And where change needs to be made, action needs to be done in the world of thinking, in the world of action. So, so for example, if, if a person wants to get something done physically, if they don't take an action to get it done, it's not going to happen by itself. We can think about it day and night, it's not going to change. So if a person wants to earn more money, if a person wants to learn more Torah, if a person wants to improve their tefillah, if a person wants to change their body shape, 80-20 rule. Actions need to be made. Intellectually honest, emotionally healthy actions need to be made. 20% chashbonus, 80% actions. So what that would look like, what that could look like, how this could manifest potentially is like this. That you do some research, okay, I want to make money or I want to change my body shape or I want to improve in um, my, my, my uh, kavana in tefillah. Educate yourself. Spend time educating yourself. Read, speak to people, educate yourself. But it doesn't take forever to educate yourself. And then what one needs to do is write a plan. Every day, this is what I'm doing. And I showed you my little cards that every day I have my, my three, four things that I wish to accomplish this day. And I don't go to sleep until they've accomplished it, until I've accomplished it. I told you about my friend who he does not go to bed until he's finished and sometimes it could take him hours but he will do it because we need to be committed to change 80-20 rule, get those things done but the beauty is when we have a little um, you know our cards or we have a little booklet or we have some sort of seder where I write down these are the things that I want to do today and you accomplish them you feel great dopamine release then at the end of the day when you look through oh this is what I've done you feel good you go to sleep accomplished and then at the end of the week you compound and then at the end of the year when we come to Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur and we can have our little booklets and we bring that to the Rosh Hashanah the Tefillah service you feel geschmack look these are all the things that I've done this year three little things a day adds up three six nine I don't know I've lost the maths however many is how many however many things that is within a week however many things that is within a month you do the calculation compound comp um, compound interest. So Beis Ras Hashem, 80-20 rule, don't give up on it. Keep with it and, and keep with your chavrusas and at least for this month practice it. At least for this month so you've got a time in your life when you've done it. Mamash, go get them.